In 2008, when the Tata Nano, Ratan Tata's emotional brainchild was launched at a price of 1 lakh rupees, media outlets claimed it to be the Lakhtakya, the people's car, the car that would change the Indian market. And yet, just about 10 years later, the car was shut down. In the June of 2018, there was only one Tata Nano that was produced. So what happened? a car that achieved global headlines a car that was supposed to change the face of the indian automobile industry how did it not succeed how as it happened that a car that was priced cheaper than several motorcycles in india today did not succeed today in this new episode of what went wrong we are going to explore the problems that happened to the tata nano how a car that was supposed to be the 1 lakh dream car for the middle class indian fail to make an impact before we begin just a reminder that a new episode in the what went wrong series comes out every tuesday at 8 pm so you should definitely check out the playlist link in the cards and the description and subscribe so that you do not miss out on the new episodes make sure you like the video if you like this content and let's begin to analyze what went wrong with tata nano This video will be divided into three very important parts. Part one will be analyzing what happened immediately in the first three years of the production of Tata Nano, how it was launched, how it created a global noise. Part two will be the response from the Indian audience, the response from the competition, and part three will be analyzing how the Tata Nano, even after receiving such acclaim from critics and audiences, failed to make an impact. So in 2008 when Tata Nano was launched it won a lot of international awards based on its defining features it had a high fuel efficiency it had low weight it was designed to incorporate all international safety regulations which were applicable then and having the lowest emission level amongst all cars made in India and it was offered at the cheapest price in the world Tata Nano was known as the brainchild of Ratan Tata the chairman of the of the Tata group and it was aimed at the Indian people who primarily derive on motorcycles and scooters and had the dream of upgrading to a car The Indian audience should have embraced the Tata Nano with open arms but they did not. A lot of reasons for that can be understood in the third part of this video. But when the Tata Nano initially launched, the design was acclaimed internationally. The price of rupees 1 lakh which was heavily marketed, many media agencies, newspapers, TV news headlines across the globe called it the people's car. Tata Nano had everything going on for itself. It had the name, it had the association with Tata, it had the love of the people. Which brings us to part 2 of the video about what went wrong for the first few years in the production of Tata Nano. There were some things that went wrong. First, several Nano cars caught fire in the first 2 years of the production of Tata Nano. While Tata Motors did rectify the glitches, it also gave the owners an extended warranty for new cars and existing cars. But in the first 2 years with all those cars catching fire, the reputational damage was done quite initially into the launch of Tata Nano. Secondly, there was a production delay. The company was forced to shift their production bases from Singur in West Bengal to Sanand in Gujarat and the 18 months that it took for this process to be done was felt highly because of the high demand that was created by the hype of the car. The people were expecting the cars to come out in number. The company was expecting the car to sell out in numbers, but still the production woes troubled the company to such an extent that people ultimately lost all faith in the car. Thirdly, was the problem of the comfort of riding. Since the Tata Nano was based out of limiting the most non-essential features, riding comfort took kind of a hit. which is essentially dependent upon the weight of the car and the stability and since Tata Nano was such a small car with a limited weight the riding comfort for people who were driving or riding in the car the riding comfort was low on the Tata Nano and i think what was the biggest reason why the Tata Nano failed was that Tata Nano was never the 1 lakh car it was never the lakhtakya as was originally indicated by Ratan Tata Over time the gap between the Tata Nano and the cheapest car in the market narrowed. When the Tata Nano launched it had a maximum retail price of 1 lakh rupees but the taxes and everything boiled it down to over 1 and 1/2 lakhs. And by the time that Tata Nano was discontinued 
Tata Nano was selling for about 2.59 lakhs, which, when compared to its nearest competitor, the on-road price in Delhi for Alto 800 was around 2.88 lakhs. So people did not necessarily want to spend their money on a car that. will offer them less features and would rather spend it on new competitors even new companies were coming into the foray and eating into the market that tata nano already had started losing but these were all the things that went wrong for the tata nano now we have to analyze why the people even after a lot of positive features did not approve of the car or did not go into holds buying it It cannot be denied that for a small car Tata Nano did have a lot of room inside because the engine of the car was on the back it gave a lot of room for the people sitting in to drive the car also has been proved to be very robust because people have driven it across highways they have driven it 10000 feet altitudes across Ladakh it had great fuel efficiency it had low fuel emissions but yet the biggest reason that people in India did not buy the car is this The market for Tata Nano was supposed to be the middle class Indians who were currently driving motorcycles who were currently driving scooters who had aspirations to buy a car for their family and people in developing countries in India like India like China who have a growing income want to go for bigger cars you can see this example going all across India people are aiming to buy MUVs they're aiming to buy SUVs and in such a market over the 10 years that Tata Nano was in production people would not want to spend their money on a car that was marketed as the cheapest car no one can deny the fact that owning a cheapest car or owning a car in india is an aspirational goal if you are seen owning a cheap car then it plays on your social standing for example in people in developed countries have lost fascination with big cars across the developed world the personal demand for large cars is effectively reduced because they have better public car transports and they only need personal cars for emergencies and for uh, needing it for a very limited purposes and that is the biggest reason for the fail of tata nano the initial biggest selling point for the car that it is the cheapest car you can get and that is the point that got the company to bite it back in the axe value conscious indians especially those who wanted to switch from a scooter to a car would have embraced it with open arms but they did not and when we look back it was proven that while the purpose of the car is to from getting you to point a to another point the car in india is an aspirational symbol people who are prospective in buying a car would not want to be seen owning the cheapest because it gave them a low social status instead nano was bought by people because it had a niche appeal and the people wanted a small car only after they have another couple of big ones and that was the biggest reason for the fall of tata nano why a car that had such aspirations could not do well in a company of a billion people but all is not lost for tata nano On my research I also found out that Tata is making a electric version of the Nano car which has the potential of being early in a market that is going to burst very soon and that might work well for the Tata Nano but as of now the original Tata Nano the brainchild of Ratan Tata was not able to do well it had huge love huge impact on the automobile industry after the tata nano came out the market for used cars sold immensely the sales of maruti 800 its biggest competitor fell by 30% in the initial few years but ultimately when the tata nano discontinued it will always be remembered as the lakta kia which people just did not welcome into their homes and that's it for this video thank you so much for watching this episode of what the fuck went wrong till the end i hope you like this video if you did make sure you like the video share it with your friends and family whoever is a car enthusiast check out the other episodes from the series from the link in the cards and the description subscribe so that you do not miss out other videos in the description there's an upload schedule if you're new here i would entrust you and insist that you check out my other content and uh, thank you so much for watching until the end till the next one goodbye